Hey everybody, welcome back to Tech Odyssey. So today I'm here with a review of Carve's Lunar Case for the Google Pixel 3 XL. So this Lunar Case is actually one of the Traveler Series cases. It's got the all wood back built on the TPU frame and it's a really good case. I had an opportunity to review a Carve case about a year ago uh, for an iPhone 7 Plus and also I believe for the Samsung Galaxy S8 Plus. So I liked it. Um, they have made some slight improvements since then, like making the sides, you know, Less, uh, they don't scratch up your hand as much. It has a better feel overall as far as the contour and the shape and the texture that's on it. So that's good. But this one looks super cool. Now, you can check out their cases on their website, carve.com. And all their cases come with this neat little insert. They talk about some of the employees, like this guy, David. He's their lead developer. So you can learn a little bit about David. And then it comes with this little package insert, naturally unique. And I'll show you what's inside here. You get a carved sticker. So if you want to show off your love for carved. And then it also comes with this little insert, naturally unique. I guess you can use it for like a bookmark if you want. But here we go. It says, everyone has a story. What we experience in life makes us who we are. The scars we carry, visible or not, are seen by those we hold close. Our loved ones identify... Yeah, identify us by our blemishes and imperfections. The, the material we handcrafted to make this product tells a story too. Every imperfection identifies it as a unique piece of art. We hope you love the knots, veins, and nicks that make it one of a kind. And of course it's talking about the real wood that they use to make the case. And then here we go. And in case something is wrong, first off they're sorry. And tell us about it and let them make it right. But it's neat. And then, of course, if you loved it, there you go. You can tag them. They have their social media information. So, pretty cool. Now, woo! Now, I really like this particular case because the graphic on it looked really good. And they have a lot of other different ones that they have that are available to choose from, all from about the $29, $39 price range. And, of course, you get the grainy wood texture. It feels great. Uh, it's nice and sturdy. It, of course, it does have naturally protective properties. Uh, the way that they have this moon design on here it looks really good too so on the sides you can see that it's textured on the sides here which gives you really really good grip and it doesn't dig into your hands as much i felt like the ones on especially on the s8 plus that i did before it kind of dug into my hand a little bit i didn't like that this it seems like they toned it down a notch and they refined their product and their process over time so super cool and again you can pick this one up for 29.99 and I definitely think that it's worth it. So it's got a nice clean fit. It's got a very thin minimalistic profile, which is one thing that I love in a case. Uh, everything, you have great access. If you want to plug something in, it has a nice shallow USB-C connector uh, cutout so you can get things plugged in, which is a problem with a lot of cases. If you want to plug in some aftermarket chargers or like me, I can't use my USB-C connector for my uh, media adapter or for my USB. So with this, you have no problems. Over on the side, you have the buttons here. Of course, the Google only has them on the right side on the Pixel. So you got the volume rocker and also the power button. The only complaint I have about this is it's nice, but they don't really stand out. So it would be nice if they textured them, if they had more of a raised appearance or feel to them, so that way you could kind of palpate them and you know feel them in the dark. Uh, sometimes if you're feeling around and you want to try and press it, I can't tell which one is which, honestly. So uh, I wish they'd do a little bit more to make them more pronounced but other than that i mean they work fine they work great they've got great feedback and they're easy to press so that's good got your microphone cut out up top and all in all it's just a really solid case now it does have some slightly protective properties it doesn't have a mill standard drop protection rating uh, you can see there is just a slight lip there where it's not really oversized as much as a lot of the more secure cases nowadays so I wouldn't really recommend placing this one face down on a flat surface. Um, I mean, you can because it's recessed just enough. It should keep it off of it. But if there's anything underneath it, you want to worry about that. So make sure you always put a glass screen protector or some sort of screen protector on your case. Uh, on the back, you've got the recess cutout for the fingerprint sensor and for the camera. So you have easy, safe, and secure access for those. Uh, like I said, it does have... Um, well, it does not have a mill standard drop protection rating, but they do have a video if you watch on their cases that shows them dropping it from about three or four feet. They say that it will withstand three feet, so you'll have to take their word on that. 
but uh, I don't, I'm not an advocate for dropping your phone. But if you do, this will protect it from minimal drops and slips and pretty much everyday stuff. But uh, don't go try and you know, drop it from 5, 10 feet and think that your phone might still work afterward because there's no guarantees. Uh, also, one concern that you will have is because it is wood, you don't really want to get it wet. Now, they do have a demonstration video where they put it in, the, in a river for a few seconds and pull it out and let it sit for 10 minutes. And they're like, okay, hurry, it's all right. I think that it should be fine. I mean, it's uh, it, the way that it's sealed and the way that they have the the, the design and the paint and, and all the finish on it, it should protect it from minimal water exposure. What they recommend is when you take it, if it gets wet, just wipe it off and let it air dry. It should be fine. Uh, if you leave this in the water for half an hour, I would imagine that one, uh, it will probably warp and two, it might discolor. So no taking it to the pool. <laughs> so if you want to get this case, definitely leave it away from the water. But Anything, if you accidentally spill it, drop it in, the, when in a rain puddle real quick, it should be fine. Anyway, again, this is the <clears throat> Lunar Case by Carb for the Google Pixel 3 XL. And you can find it on their website, carb.com. I'll have a link down in the drop down. And again, it's $29. So, uh, fantastic phone case. I like it a lot. Uh, I've gotten a lot of comments on it. I've been enjoying using it for the last couple of days. So, if this is something that's up your alley, I think you'll be happy with it. Uh, but if you have any questions or comments, leave them down in the comment section. And as always, I'll see you guys next time.